The, 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 the gentleman kindly uh, gave me a mic so you could actually hear me over these uh, fans that are making a racket. So we're going to get back to work here. So again, my onions are just about ready to, uh, to uh, are just about ready. They're nice and translucent. You could see those. I am now, my mushrooms are, look at those mushrooms. Aren't they beautiful? They're all done. We're shutting that off. So the mushrooms are done. It's time to add the arborio rice. I'm going to put this right here. Again, Sclafani, only Italian, only the best. All right, I'm going to throw those in there like that. And we're going to start toasting the rice. Again, the trick is you want to make sure this stuff doesn't burn. So the, the key is to make sure that you're constantly stirring, constantly stirring. You know, cooking is like love, okay? It's something you got to do nice and slow with patience and with affection. Keep that in mind the next time you're cooking. For somebody you love, obviously. All right, that's nice and toasted. Now, we are gonna take some white wine. As I said, it's uh, sort of a dry uh, Italian white from Northern Italy. And we're gonna pour that in liberally because we wanna make sure we get all that flavor. So we, now we've, so we've added the white wine. We're gonna let that cook down just a little bit. All right, and we got the, we're gonna make sure our, our, um, the flame is up nice and high. And we gotta keep on stirring, that's the key. And you can see that, get that going here. And in a few minutes, we're gonna start adding very, very uh, slowly. This is just basic chicken stock, all right? Um, and you know, one thing you can always do, uh, you can always add a little bit of water to this because it, it, it helps, it, it lengthens the, uh, it gives you a little bit more volume to work with and it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. It, it's absorbing all the flavors. So you know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this if that's okay with you. All right, see, it just adds a little bit of water. It lengthens the, uh, makes it a little, gives me a little bit more volume. And we are ready to roll here. That, and here we go. So we're gonna start adding. Now notice, this is really important. This is where you add your chicken stock really slowly, getting it all around. You're, that's it for now. And now we get back to our spoon and we just start stirring. And so now what happens is the, the, the chicken stock gets absorbed into the rice little by little, all right? Building on the flavor, right? It's, it's taking in all of, it's taking in the shallots, it's taking in the onions, it's taking in the white wine, it's taking in this beautiful extra virgin olive oil, all right? And it's just, you know, it's creating an amalgam of flavors. That, uh, that when it's all done, is pretty awesome. Okay, so as you see, that's starting to get to the point where it's a little dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken stock. I go around the edges, nice and slow, and I stop right there, and I get back to stirring, you know? Nice and easy. You'll know when it's done. It's one of those things, you'll know when it's done because it'll just have that perfect consistency. It'll be like cream, and, and, and uh, some people like their uh, risotto al dente. I'm on the al dente camp. Um, most people uh, maybe think that al, al dente rice is not cool. I think it is, personally, but then again, what do I know? So, you, important not to make, to make sure it does not stick at the bottom, so you may wanna drop, you know, drop the flame just a little bit, and you just keep on stirring. You just keep working it, nice and slow. Nice and slow. How's that look, huh? Not so, not bad so far. You gotta make sure you, it does not stick. That is key. All right. Again, it's getting to the point where I'm ready to add a little bit more um, of the chicken stock. I'm gonna go around the edge. When I've finished adding all this chicken stock, it's just about done. So we're just gonna keep working it, folks. All right, folks, so um, I've taken the, uh, the risotto um, mixture off of the, um, off of the stove for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay? And here we go. So I had an opportunity to make this a little earlier today. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm going to give it a little bit. I'm going to th th throw in just a little bit of, of chicken stock to just maybe give this a little bit more zhuzh, as we say in my old neighborhood. 
We're going to put this on. I'm going to get this going. And that will heat up nicely. And it's almost ready to go. Important things that I did not add there, but I would add here. It's a little bit of butter. So you're gonna you're gonna get you know regular Lando Lakes that works perfectly fine. I mean, you've got, if you got the Italian stuff, that works too. But we'll use Lando Lakes. You, you, I, for 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 a um, for a dish of this size, you could use a half a stick of butter, and then of course the piece de resistance, real Parmigiano Reggiano, right from uh, right from the city of Parma, Italy. And uh, we're gonna you're gonna throw a bunch of grated cheese into that Parmigiano Reggiano, and. At the and then on that we'll throw in our mushrooms. That's the final thing we put in is the mushrooms. That'll that'll cook down a little bit. You're gonna throw in that you see all that beautiful juice that just makes it gives it a gives it the final flavor. That is my trick.